fish for you. Come on. Do they like them fresh? Oh yeah. yeah. Really? It's good because it's a like a dewormer. That's no. great. That's great. <laughs> hey everyone. I told them. It's Angela, Lazy and Farm Girl. Here from Halfway Farm, La Ferma Michemin. I am on Goat Watch, which is really exciting for us. I'm on Utter Watch because this is going to be our first kidding. Let's see here. Fully. Um, we're really, really uh, excited and a little bit nervous because we don't exactly know what we're doing. We're, you know, this is our first time, so we're. Oh, you got some walnuts. Reading all the goat forums and and the blogs and talking to my breeder and everything. But my sweet Coco is going to kids soon, and Carolina we think is pregnant too. So let's see what we can. Um, do here like you know if you want to look at Coco's junk like now is your chance so if you don't get ready you're gonna to want to sign off okay so see we've got Utter yay look at that so exciting she's bagging up here oh, I'm um, so slowly excited. but surely and um, looking a little wide mowing on the black walnut leaves which yeah. they love it's so interesting because some people say don't give it to them, other people say it's great, some people say don't give them maple leaves, but we live on a black walnut infested farm. Let's see, totally, they're everywhere, see? They ruin everything. And it helps, I notice that um, I don't have to worm the goats near as often as I should because they're constantly exposed to it. So here's my kids. Oh, here's my apron du jour. Let me show you. Isn't that awesome? I love it. And so every day after dinner, we come out and we check on Coco and see how wide she's getting. Let's see. Look at her go. Um, so it's nothing new. I've done a couple broadcasts on this because that's really what's happening in our life. We're on utter watch every day. And um, that's it. That's all that's really going on. It's a beautiful day here on the farm. Just gorgeous. I mean, let's see. Where, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that comment about milking? I wish I moved that fast, Prego. Yeah, no kidding. She can really haul. She really gets around. It's actually really impressive. Because every day she gets bigger. Thanks. I love the apron, too. Thanks so much. I got a, um, a handful of them at the flea market a couple weeks ago. Bringing them back. So we're all out of treats. So it's gonna be a riot to get the goats back in the pen. And this is where they live here. We've got the tarps up. They're really ugly, but that's to give them some shade. And uh, this is their little pasture area. And so we'll move it around and they share with a rabbit. And they're right off the potage. And there's our camper in the pool. Can you see the pool? Right there. Campers like our summer house. You raise sheep for a while, Junk Mama. Oh man, that sounds fantastic. We rent here, so we really would like to do more. We'd love to do um, some pigs, and of course I dream of a dairy cow. But for now we have our goats, and they're so sweet. So uh, let's see, where'd she go? Amelie, Lee, where's Coco? She's around. They, um, when they get out of their pen, they get really excited because I have ladies' mantle and roses that they love to wreak havoc on. Coco! This is Valentino. He's her twin brother, and that's Carolina. And if you look at Carolina on the side, she has an H for Halfway Farm, which is awesome. So... It's really amazing. Sometimes when I really consider that, um, you know, I wasn't really raised around animals and this is normal for my kids, for my children. Um, I love that. I love that it's their norm to clear the dishes and then come out and check on an udder. That is so cool. Okay, let's check. Let's check that udder one more time <laughs> because I know that's what you're dying to see. So we're waiting for that to get bigger every day. Oh yeah, and then the poop, so we'll. I'll spare you from that. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, 
I might try a recipe in the kitchen tomorrow that I've been itching to make, and so maybe I'll sign on for that. But we'll do Utter Watch again tomorrow. If not, when will she have them? Darla, I don't know. Um, her ligaments, I don't think, are quite ready. Um, but that's why we're, we're keeping an eye on her every day. So I think she's going to drop just like we do. I think this poof out here is going to drop down to the sides a little bit more. But I'm just uh, reading and learning as I go. So thanks so much for tuning in. Isn't Periscope fun? Talk to you later. I can never sign off. Love your, yes, cornflower blue, aren't they awesome? Thank you, thank you, Junk Mama. Can't do it, there we go, stop broadcast. A bientôt.